This video has taken one month to make, and that's because... But every step is an important one, and we want to share it all with you. You're going to notice the leaves filling in and the weather changing quite a bit, but this is what it's really like as we build our home out here in the woods. Let's build this outhouse. Good morning, family. We love the sun. It's supposed to be sunny for the next seven days. You all look so pretty in the sun. They all make me smile so much. We're going to continue building the outhouse today as we left it unfinished. You probably remember last year we began the construction of this and it took quite a while to get all the materials and get it going. It's near completion. Of course, there'll be some aesthetic things that will come in the future, but by completion, I mean, we'll be able to use it. And that's the best part of an outhouse. Yeah. I'm very interested to see when we put a hole in the floor, what the hole that we dug for the outhouse last year is looking like. It's nerve wracking. Scary. I think it'll be all right though. The reason it's so scary is that if there is a bunch of water in it, then we probably don't want to use this as an outhouse because you'll have a flood every spring of you know what. So we put this shelf in here and the idea is, is to make this a place where people want to go to the bathroom and there'll be walls and there'll be nice flooring and a little solar light so it'll be a comfortable place to go. So cool. much to think about with four seasons. Especially Everything when you're changes. rookies. Yep, we're rookies. <laughs> <laughs> What? I don't even see the collar. It's over here. Uh-oh, uh, did we mess up? Oh my gosh. No, we're gonna have flooring on this. It's okay, make as many holes as you want. Yeah, it's actually not a huge deal. The X is right where I was sitting. That's <laughs> the X. <laughs> Look how far off I was. <laughs> I don't know, like I think I see water in it. Like I needed to open it first before I say anything, so I don't really know. But what's weird is like all the time that we had it, it hadn't filled up. Let's open it, I'm confused. Let's open it. Everyone, meet the toilet. Yeah, so my vision for this outhouse was like not to do the wooden box, to do like a type of material that's easy to clean and that will like have a longer living life. And so Todd, our friend, actually found us this and I could not even be happier. This was my, this was my image and it's perfect. Look how tall it is, it's like amazing. It's like, it couldn't be better. And like the way that it works is like, this goes into the tube and this sits on the floor. And the way that this sits on the floor really seals it. So it's just the perfect outhouse toilet, I think. Uh, I've never seen you happier. I'm so nervous. I hear water. Yeah. Should my outhouse hole fill up with water after the winter? Toilet texting already? <laughs> so apparently, I'm reading a bunch of a thread. This is very common when you are in an environment that has all four seasons. Makes sense. I am beyond happy to hear this news. I was getting really down in the dumps there for a second. <laughs> in the dumps! <laughs> We've had a very long, wet winter. It makes complete sense why there would be a little bit of water in it, and I don't think it's a big concern, especially with summer on the way. It's gonna be months and months of sweltering hot weather that will, sweltering hot. That will dry it up, so. 25 degrees, you will. Is there still water coming out? I think it just stopped. Not even enough to brush your teeth. Well, this is saving us a lot of time. <laughs> Look at it go, yeah. Oh yeah, get angry at it. I'm seeing you out there. I'm seeing you seeing me too. And I like all the ways you shake, and I can relate to the way you move. So come on into my habitat. Or we can meet up anywhere you choose. Anytime we can interact, I'll be down with that to connect to you. This is step one, baby. We got, we got, we got a good. We had to put a stink pipe in our outhouse so that way there's ventilation from the hole out of the outhouse. To the outside world. This is very important for odor, so that way when it becomes used, the smell is then transported out the tube rather than into the outhouse. Well, it looks like we have to do a little hole. Come here. Woo! You so 
I think I should do it from this side now. Got it. That's the outside wall. Connect the dots from me to you. You got me under your fingertips, and you can have me any way you choose. And you got what I can't resist, and I'm into this to get close to you. Toilet time. When you live in the woods, like this is a huge deal. Like it you, is a huge when you deal. will not have to clean the like the compost toilet in the van ever again. It's gonna be amazing. It sounds weird, but I can't wait to poo. <laughs> Damn. It looks amazing. So nice. I'm stoked. Yes. You should, so sweet. You should sit on the toilet seat. You can go first. Alright. You're the queen. This is exactly what I wanted when I thought of an outhouse. Looks so good. So good. Much more to do, but it's coming together. At least we have like what it's really there for, right? The rest of the stuff is just like because we want it. Yeah, exactly. Like this is a fully functioning outhouse now. Exactly. Our needs of a bathroom are now met. Yes. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera straight. Much better. Got a people. Yes. Welcome back to our cabin in the woods. It's very tranquil, chill. You know, nothing bugs you out here. Damn black clothes. Now it's time to get to work. That's gonna look really good. So light, bright, and airy. It's gonna look really Pretty good. Trust. <laughs> okay, let's lay flying. So much fun. Hope this will just fit. Like they're gonna be short. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. <laughs> perfect! Just like you. Kind of. Because it has to go to the edge, right? Oh, I guess it's perfect on the other wall, just not the door. Look at all the black flies. Cheers to that. Bella is so smart that she made her own bug net. Nice bug net, girl. She's literally hiding, trying to camouflage from the black flies. I'm just a bush. Don't suck my blood. As much as vinyl is not fun to lay, it definitely is the best flooring to do in any area that could get really messy because it's super easy to clean. This is our outside bathroom. When anyone's walking in here, they're definitely gonna be having their muddy boots on, all that. So it just makes it 10 times easier to clean than if you put any other flooring in here. Who's the flooring? You are! Because this is just an outhouse, it really doesn't matter. And we just want to use one box instead of using two so we can return the other box. So we're just going to lay all the pieces there. And then at the back here, we'll just put like another 2x4 so you don't see the line. Well, the trim will like essentially cover it, really. Oh yeah. Like it's, well, not really. Trim is like this big. But like it just doesn't even make sense to like you cut boards, go back and forth. like. It's an outhouse. Yeah. This is just, the reason we're putting in, like I said, is just so we can clean this. Yeah. Really nicely. I just had to bring the girls in. They were at the door asking to get in because I think they're just so irritated by the bugs. Oh, poor girls. Can you even see all the bugs? Oh my God. She say I'm a triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is you tripping for a follow? But all in the air like Showtime and the Apollo. Puffing up your chest, the next thing you know is hollow, but well. Now, I definitely don't recommend laying floor like this, but again, we're in an outhouse. Went through this in my house, though. That's for sure. This floor is so light proof that we didn't even have to wipe off the pencil marks. They're gone. They're gonna guess again. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, help me. Nice cut. It's gonna look good. All right, we need a weight. What can we put on top of it so it will dry? It needs weight. Me, that's what I wanted. No, you're working still. <laughs> Great idea. 
Hi, Mom. I was just sitting down to make my AG1. I wanted to ask you, are you still taking it? Yeah, I'm still taking it, yeah. How does it make you feel? Makes me feel good. I'm not bloated. I feel like I have more energy. I feel good from the inside out. That's really good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Sorry, I'm still just smiling knowing that my mom's taking her AG1. <laughs> that makes me really happy. It's such an easy way to get all of your vitamins and your nutrients. 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, adaptogens, probiotics, so many good essential key components for your body and for your health. And Cheers to that. AG1 is made from the highest quality ingredients in accordance with the strictest nutritional standards. All of the nutritional ingredients are listed on the website. You can go through them and see for yourself just how powerful AG1 is. For example, papaya powder is really good in aiding in digestion. When you click the link in the description, you will receive a immunity bundle that comes with a vitamin D dropper. This is enough vitamin D for an entire year, as well as five free travel packs with your first purchase. Where were we? I don't even know. It's been ages. I think we might have to look back at the footage. I can't wait till it's done. I mean, it's functional. What's more important? Plumbing, electrical, or an outhouse? But you can kind of already go in. Shall we get started? Let's get started. Right on a beam, eh? Right yeah. on a beam. So what I think we should do is we should just take a, not take this out yet, but we'll put a new beam in and then we'll just remove this. Cut the window out for it. Love it. Yeah. We're ready for a new beam? Yeah. Look at that. Right out. Without a doubt, it took us a minute to get going there, but we've got the new reinforcement beam in, and that means it's time to cut the hole for the window. Super excited about that. All right, we've now made our four pilot holes, and we're going to cut the window from the outside now that it's all measured up, because it'll be easier for the jigsaw to go through, or the cirque, or whatever saw we choose. Hello! This is crazy. Well, let's hope it's not too big. <laughs> that moment of truth. It's too small. It looks good though! Yeah, wow! Good. Wondering, why isn't that window going in? Well, guess what? We have board and batten, obviously. How would the trim sit flush with these? It wouldn't. Say it. It wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Oh, whoop, whoop. I love it! I love it! Give me a kiss! Oh my Big smoochers! I'm already completely obsessed with the window. It brings in so much light. But because the sun shines essentially in this direction all day, we're not gonna really need lights at all until sundown. So it looks super, super good. And it's gonna be nice, bright and beautiful when you're using the restroom. I'm having a lot of fun. This is gonna keep all the critters out. Every little crack. I just love it. It's quite exciting putting this on, eh? It is exciting. I've never done it before and it's... It's kind of fun. There's a technique, that's for sure. You, like, definitely figured it out because that get, doesn't look so great. Give it power and then go. That didn't work out either. <laughs> it's pretty inconsistent. Anyways, it doesn't really matter how it looks because there's going to be tongue groove up all over this, so. Heading away. All right, spray foam has set into those cracks and crevices and it's time to make it look awesome. <laughs> and I don't know if I was clear, but the main reason that we use this spray foam is for draft and for critters. So if there's any little cracks or crevices, it'll just keep the breeze from coming in or any flies or bugs. So it's not for, it's not for insulation. It's, this is just our summer bathroom. Yes, this yes, this is just the summer bathroom. This will probably never be used in the winter. Again, I'm gonna check it like this. No, thank you. And then I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna like ha! <laughs> Video coming to YouTube near you. First cut of the TNG. Fired in! I'm so excited. I don't think we have enough. 
Well, how many are up there? How many's in a pack? Six. Six in a pack. We have five up there and we have one, two. Well, the back wall is gonna be at least three packs then. I don't think there's ever been a project yet that we don't need to go to the hardware store again. Like the day, when the day comes that we don't have to go to the hardware store again. You got to do the last errand, so I kind of want to leave. Yeah, you go. Cool. Is that okay? Yeah, drive safe. All right, you're stuck with me. We're gonna try and bang this out before Jasmine gets back. Woo, the back wall is done. I love new tools, thank you. All right, let's see it. First time using it. Whoa. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Right? How good does that look? This is freaking insane. It looks so good. Like, so much better. I can't better. believe we even use those. Well, we didn't know we were gonna get this nail gun. Oh my gosh. Look at the difference. Oh my goodness. Ugly. Everyone, I should have had the camera on here. You're whack right now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we might need to shave the whole thing a little. That's annoying. The last piece, eh? Just doesn't go together like a puzzle. You're gonna cut this <laughs> about this much off, all the way down <laughs> with the jigsaw. Nice. Just like that. All right. Fits. It's in. Let's trim it. <laughs> It looks so good. Good I love it. work. Rustic outhouse in the woods. <laughs> How beautiful is that? We'll tie it all together tomorrow. Night. Almost done. Went to the local mill this morning, filled up the truck with some hemlock, and it's aged just perfectly. Can't wait to show you that. But before we do, look who joined us in the back of the cab. I'm loading wood. Oh my goodness, girls, you make everything so much fun, eh? So much fun. Oh, she typed it. <laughs> it was really cute. We are nearing completion of the outhouse, but we have one last idea that will just be the cherry on top. So we're gonna try and bang that out today so we can finally say we completed this outhouse in a month. <laughs> I seriously can't get over this lumber. It is so nice. And to think, it wasn't very far. Small mill right by us. How much did you pay for all this lumber? $142. $142, everyone. And I have to say, we really love the vibe of the rough cut and the aged wood. It's so cool. And it's Especially also, for an outhouse. I want to do the whole inside of the house with milled wood. Like, literally inside. It's amazing. Imagine that. Like, ship up here going down. This is so high. Okay, what do you want them to be? Holy heck. Think about how ridiculously high this is. Beautiful. Damn. Jazzy's throwing the counter in and it looks so good. It's just the vibe. It's the rustic, 
barn, farmhouse vibe. vibe. It's beautiful. I just love the way wow, that it looks I can't already. Nice! That yeah, looks fab! Oh god, what the heck is that? <laughs> just a little bit, um... Oh my goodness. Gotta cut the corners a bit more there, lady. You gotta just trace it better there, lady. Yay! Woo! It looks amazing! Do you looks love it? so nice. It's beautiful. I love it. Love, love, it's love. It's perfect level. <laughs> oh boy, it is absolutely safe to say we are getting rained out. Drenched, but we're still going at it because it looks so good. We can't stop. <laughs> wow. wow! That looks amazing. So nice. finally done. It has turned out perfect, exactly how we imagined it, a rustic place to use the bathroom in nature. And after many weeks of it taking the back burner, let me tell you, it was well worth the energy we put into it yesterday throughout that rain. Check it out, we have a sink and it's completely off grid. So we have rain gutters that are collecting the rain from this roof. This is simply for washing your hands, so the amount of water that we will gather is gonna be way more than enough. And the best part is, is that the water from the tap is running without electricity, as I mentioned. It's actually a foot pump. So it's a super simplistic design that I think anybody could really make and it changes our life out here as this is, like I said, our only bathroom. And also a fairly affordable vanity. This is milled wood and it's super aged. Just, it's perfect. It's a complete rustic vibe. I love it so much. I can tell you're patting it. <laughs> also because we will be using this at all hours of the day and night, we have solar lights run on the outside and the inside, one over the sink and one inside. So it's dimly lit so you can find your way here. And then when you get here, the lights turn on which gives, allows you to see, really. <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing in there. <laughs> which is really important. Only appropriate to sit on the toilet for the tour? Of course. So this is a pit privy. It is about a five foot hole we dug now. And the whole goal in here was to keep it bright, to make people want to use it, so. Yes, would you? No, would you not? Maybe if you had to, I'm sure you'd all say it looks freaking awesome and I would go in here because I think even when we have a toilet inside the cabin, I'll be in here. I like it out here. Look it's at the, the view. view. <laughs> I'm super proud. Me too. You are? Good work. Good work. Finally did it. I love it. Well, if you excuse me, I'll be seeing you next Sunday. Gotta use the outhouse. <laughs> <laughs>